Arrowhead Technology and Engineering Program has gone through a major revision and revisioning of what students will need in the 21st century for technology and engineering education. Our labs were way outdated and we, we really saw the need for equipment and software that's used in the real world. We started developing relationships with a lot of area manufacturers and we, we call those our partners. And we sat at a table and we came up with a vision and it has put us to where we are today where it is light, it is bright, we have modern equipment, it is something that reflects what they do in industry. The district has done the infrastructure to support the, the building, but the business partners have been very in, instrumental in getting the technology in front of the kids early on. We couldn't wait for junior, senior year to spark interest in engineering and manufacturing, that our students needed to understand the massive opportunities they could have in the STEM-related fields. So I also teach what we call MEM, Manufacturing and Engineering with Materials. Uh, it, it's unique to Arrowhead in that it's taught in a woods and a metal shop. This class is specifically for sophomores. We like our students to take this class because it lets them know if they're more the, the builder type, get their hands dirty, or they're more engineering minded and they like the planning and, and design. The good engineers know how to make and the good manufacturers understand design. And that's how we start with our kids. And Where we set the hook, you're, you're really figuring out what, what makes you tick, what your passion is. The kids who have had gone through those couple classes are just miles ahead of the kids who are just coming in fresh. They can design more and they use our CNC's more and they have just a different way of looking at things and those kids are tremendously successful when they leave here just because they have some of those technical skills that employers are looking for. We collaborate really well with our science program where we have engineering design and development which is a team taught course where a science teacher along with tech and engineering teacher collaborates um, and works with the students. By combining um, the curriculum and breaking down these walls, these barriers that existed, students that traditionally went through the technology engineering like program, they didn't necessarily have the math and science background. And so by incorporating that, we realized that our students that started going into engineering schools were graduating engineering schools. They were getting into MIT, they were getting into Stanford. So that was our first part of our engineering experience pathway. And then we brought in a course called Engineering Mechanics. Um, and Engineering Mechanics, a physics teacher is alongside a tech and engineering teacher um, to make the physics come to life. I think one of the major shifts that this department made was wanting to give students authentic learning opportunities and they brought forward Warhawk Manufacturing. Warhawk Manufacturing is a student-run business. It's a capstone senior level class where a student comes and is employed by Mr. Luchwag and myself to make products and to, make, uh, to do jobs for our business partners. So whether it be welding or business or accounting or woodworking or um, it just depends on what skill they come with and we put them to work and the jobs vary from website sales to custom jobs for our business partners. At the end of the year after we've done all of our business and we break it down kind of in thirds where we have a third is the website and a third is custom business work, a third is the Purdue school. Um, at the end of the year after we pay our bills, we cut scholarships to the kids. We have them apply and they are eligible for a manufacturing scholarship. This is our fifth year in operation. The four years prior, we have given away $86,000 in scholarships where they can use the money for tools, for, for school, tuition, a car. It doesn't matter because they've earned it. I'd like to mention how exciting it is to see how many of our graduates have used this pathway and decided that technical education was the direction for them. Mr. Schlitt, for example, I've had for several classes and I really like him. And uh, he was kind of my main motivation for going into tech ed for college. I really look up to him and he's just a great person overall and I really want to be like him when I'm hopefully, I'm hoping to become a teacher here, but we'll see where the road takes me. We've seen an increase in the amount of students deciding a two-year technical school was right and many of them have, whether it be in welding, uh, or other technology fields, they've, they've been able to be working. Our students are getting jobs in electrical, machining, uh, welding, 
Anywhere there's an opening, we have been placing kids because, again, they started here. They, we set a hook with them. They got excited about the industry, the trades, and they are the ones who step through the doors of opportunity. Exciting to see the pathways that students have taken, whether a four-year university in engineering or a two-year university in technical education or directly into the workforce. This program has, has really shaped pathway for a lot of our students. I think I'll go to a tech school and then maybe go into an apprenticeship. We get great instruction here, great demonstrations, and I can just look forward to coming to this every single day. This is work that is driven by passionate educators, and the time and effort and vision starts with them. The first project I was ever, major project I was ever involved in was making a four-wheel bike, and just watching my grandpa be excited about it and, and seeing this end product, I knew like I wanted to spend a a lot of my life making things and, and I, I share these stories to my, my students and, and I'm hoping they're thinking about a time where they made something and, and how good that, that made them feel. Uh, and that helps me know that they're in the right spot and, and I like to take them from that point and, and really make them confident uh, being able to build whatever they want to build. Thank you for making me want to learn. It the way you taught and the way you showed the material made me want to come to school every day and really made me want to have a future career in engineering, so thank you. Man, it's been so rewarding because every time a new piece of equipment comes in, it just changes our curriculum. It changes our what we can do and our capability. So I'll give you an example. Last time we had we, um, a brake press came in, so not only can we laser cut accurately, but now I can bend accurately and I can produce the same parts that they do at one of the companies down the street for, and the kids are getting a great experience and they're learning the controller and they're learning the operation and before that they didn't even know that existed. So Tech Ed, the department itself has really given the students the freedom to discover what is their passion through hands-on work and then also computer time and it just so happened that my bike stand really unlocked my passion for the whole engineering side of things which getting to research and then design and testing and making new improvements and I just want to thank Mr. Christian for allowing me to discover myself and discover my passion and I'm excited to go to MSOE it happens to be with Sarah too so yeah. The department has has shaped quite a vision forward and to see that vision come to reality in the last decade has been really exciting for Arrowhead. We're getting a lot of students that are really looking at getting some work experience so our uh, youth apprenticeship program as well as our students finding jobs while they're in high school has really grown. We held a career fair here two weeks ago. Students right away were snatching up business cards, making phone calls, setting up interviews really even that day. We've had countless students come back after graduation uh, thanking us and wanting to present uh, to, our, to our classes where they're at now and how they got there and it's just great to see that I was part of you know, getting them interested. I also want to say thank you for just staying after school sometimes, for letting me finish a project that I need to finish, refusing to leave until it was done. We are so honored and these educators deserve this honor. Um, we are appreciative of the WTEA's recognition of the strength of our program. I want to thank the WTEA for recognizing how uh, a really well constructed program with passionate educators makes a difference for kids. I just think it's a great honor to be recognized by the WTEA because there are so many great programs. It's the best of the best in the state sharing ideas out so that way we can all raise the bar and do what's best for kids. And to be recognized as one of them that's in the realm. When we go to the conference you see all the different um, presenters presenting on all the cool things that they're doing in their area and it just makes you want to strive to do even improve upon what you're doing. It gives you that motivation. Thinking back to all that hard work to, to getting to here and having the WTA recognize us is, is just such an, such an honor that uh, it just makes me really feel like we're, we're headed in the right direction.